Welcome to the Hilti Western Hemisphere Product Development Center. You're in our North America Firestop testing facility, where we test all of our fire protection products in accordance with UL, CUL, and ASTM standards. There are two furnaces in this facility. The one on the left is used to test floor or ceiling applications, while the one to the right is for wall applications. The testing process begins in our prep area. In this example, the assemblies consist of plastic, insulated and non-insulated pipe penetrations. Hilti Firestop solutions like FS1 Max and Firestop collars are installed around the pipes. Once the assemblies are built, we add thermocouples to measure heat transfer through the assembly and the pipes as required by the testing standards. As final touches are put on the assembly, technicians prepare the furnace and afterburner. The afterburner is a high-powered incinerator that burns the smoke and gases generated by the test itself. When it's ready, the assembly is carefully secured to the furnace. Lead wires from the thermocouples are attached to the monitoring system and tracked with our computer program. With a mouse click, the furnace's burners are ignited and the test begins. Within a few minutes, the PVC pipes and insulation on the fire side of the wall melt away, causing them to ventilate smoke into the room. Heat causes graphite in the products to expand, creating a seal that continuously expands as long as the heat is applied. This closes the pipes and limits the passage of smoke and harmful gases into other parts of a building. After 10 minutes, the temperature in the furnace is 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. The burn test can last anywhere between 1 and 4 hours, depending on the assembly being tested. As the last few seconds tick away in this 1-hour test, the temperature in the furnace is 1700 degrees. Our products have done their job to protect the penetrations and to keep the fire on one side of the wall. As you can see, there's not much left of the pipes exposed to the fire. The fire side of the assembly will now be subjected to a powerful stream of water. We use an authentic fire service hose and nozzle during the test. Distance from the wall, water pressure, and spray duration are all dictated by ASTM and UL test standards. As the water hits the superheated sheetrock, it practically explodes from thermal shock and impact of the water. This type of test helps determine structural integrity of the fire stop systems. As the charred wall disintegrates, most of the assemblies and leftover pipe go with it. But on the non-fire side, the assemblies remain in place exactly as designed. Mm -hmm. 